So is spending up for a Helix Lux mattress over one of the core models really worth it? Well, you clicked on the right video if you wanna find out. Hey, how's it going? This is Owen and we have our review of the Helix Lux lineup of mattresses. We are definitely going to talk about how they're different from their core models because you can't really review these beds without talking about those as well. We're gonna have a ton of information for you in this video, but we're gonna have even more linked in the description, including more detailed written reviews, comparisons to other mattresses, best lists, and any discounts we can find to help save you some money on any beds from Helix. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And let's kick this thing off by covering the policy information you're gonna get with Helix. This is stuff like shipping returns, trial periods, and warranties. So all the beds from Helix, including the Luxes, are gonna to ship to you inside of a box. And the unboxing process for these beds is very quick and easy to do. We've unboxed something like 200 plus beds over here. It's crazy. And it's still kind of fun to this day. You just bring in the box, open it up, rip off all the plastic, and then you watch your new mattress inflate. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that you should have a friend that help you out because the beds can get kind of heavy, especially these Lux models. And because they've been wrapped in that plastic for so long, there's a really good chance that right as you unbox it, the bed might look a little misshapen and it might have a bit of a smell to it. And if you lay down on it, you'll probably sink all the way down to your foundation or the floor. It just needs a couple days to fully inflate and reach the proper firmness level. So if you unbox a bed and it looks super weird and you're like, oh no, what did I get into? Why did I buy this? Don't worry, it'll look normal very soon. So once the mattress arrives at your door, you get a trial period with Helix. They give you 100 nights to test out their bed at home to decide if you actually like it or not and it suits your needs. If you decide that it doesn't for any reason or no reason, you can return it and get a full refund within that trial period. However, should you decide to keep the beds, the Helix Luxes actually have a slightly longer warranty of 15 years in comparison to 10 years for the core model. So that's all the policy stuff you should expect with Helix. It's pretty standard for online mattresses and it's one of the reasons people feel comfortable buying a mattress online because they are very consumer friendly. We've actually returned a few beds over here and it's normally as easy as they say it is. Let's just start talking about the beds themselves now and we should first start off with the whole Helix brand because they do things quite a bit differently than a lot of other brands. Other brands usually have maybe three, maybe up to five different beds you can pick from, and they're all quite a bit different. The thing about Helix though, is that they actually offer 15 different mattresses, although we're gonna be focusing pretty much all our attention on six of them. Now that might sound daunting actually. There's so many different options. How can you really pick one that's gonna work best for you? Well, Helix has a sleep quiz on their website that you can go through and it'll recommend the mattress that it thinks will work best for you based on your answers. It doesn't take more than a couple of minutes and it factors in a lot of different things like your body weight, your preferred sleeping position, whether or not you sleep with a partner and whether or not you have aches and pains. And once you take the sleep quiz, it'll recommend you a core model and its corresponding Lux model. Now, the way it works with the core models and the Lux models is that the core models are much more basic and more affordable than the Lux models are obviously more luxurious and they have a few more bells and whistles and they're a bit more expensive. So the biggest differences between the core models and the Lux models is that the Lux models feature an additional pillow top with some added comfort foams, which make the bed taller and more luxurious looking and add some additional comfort in my opinion. And then also they feature a zone support coil design. And then obviously the other really big difference between the core and the Lux models are going to be pricing. Before any discounts, the core models retail for around 1200 and the Lux models retail for around 2000 for queen sizes. So obviously you're gonna be paying quite a bit more for the Lux models. And I think the core models are perfectly good, but I think the Lux models are worth the extra money if it fits your budget. And normally in a review of a different mattress, I would start talking about all the materials and the feel of the bed, but it's gonna vary so much depending on which mattress you wind up going with. The Helix Midnight is their most popular and it has more of a soft neutral feel that I think most people will enjoy, but some other beds like the Moonlight have a bit more of a contouring memory foam factor in comparison. 
So it's really gonna depend on which one you decide to go with. And I would just go with the one that the Sleep Quiz recommends you. And if you decide that you don't like that one, maybe you can take it again or just pick a different mattress from Helix. On the whole though, I would say the majority of the beds from Helix are gonna have more of that soft neutral feel. Even the ones that have more of a body contouring quality don't really feel like a traditional memory foam bed. So if you're looking for memory foam, I don't really think you're gonna be able to find that option with Helix. And the same goes for firmness. It pretty much runs the entire spectrum of firmness depending on which mattress you get. If you wind up going with the Dusk Lux as an example, it's gonna be significantly firmer than the Sunset Lux, which is extremely soft. Again, that Midnight is their most popular and that one's gonna be around a medium and it's gonna be a pretty nice option for couples because most people can get by on a medium firmness. So it's kind of hard to pinpoint which of these is gonna be perfect for you and go over all the sleeping positions that each of these beds is gonna work for because again, it's gonna depend so much on which of these Helix Lux beds you go with. I would bet the majority of you who take the Helix Sleep Quiz will probably wind up with that midnight mattress because it does sit right in the middle in so many different categories. When I took the Helix Sleep Quiz, I actually wound up with the Sunset mattress because I am more of a primary side sleeper and the Sunset mattress is extremely soft and pressure relieving. But that really leaves us with the question, should you think about getting a Helix Lux mattress? And I think the answer is probably yes, especially if you're not entirely sure what you're looking for in your next mattress. I like to recommend Helix as a really good starting point for a lot of people in their mattress search, especially if they really don't know what they want. Because it has more of that guided shopping experience, it makes it a lot less complicated to do all your research and find the exact mattress you think will be good for you because Helix kind of just recommends one. I do think if it fits your budget, the Lux models are absolutely worth it. Having laid down on the core models and the Lux models, in my opinion, the Lux models are noticeably nicer and for that price difference, they should be. Although if you are on more of a strict budget, I think the core models are perfectly good and you still get that nice guided shopping experience with the core models and the Lux models. So I think there's just a lot of really good things to say about Helix and they have a lot of awards for a reason. But what do you think about Helix Lux? Write us down below in the comments. We'd love to get your thoughts. And if you have any additional questions, write them down there as well. And we'll do our best to answer them. Again, there's gonna be a lot of stuff in the description to help you with your mattress search. So be sure you take a look down there. Tons of stuff, including discounts. But that's enough for me. This is Owen Racine at home. I'll see you in the next one.